Hello, people. It is currently Wednesday, 5.10 p.m. I have 20 minutes before I'm doing a job interview, which is why the shirt is decently fancy. But I wanted to do something a little bit different today. So, I have a Depop with like so like a whole bunch of band merch, basically. I'll go ahead and show you guys this real quick. So, real quick, folks. Here's the Depop. This is going to be at depop.com slash Sean Cross official. Now we have a couple items still left up and these are super cheap. People have been asking me on there if I'm gonna be bundling, sorry, bundling objects, bundling items together. And that I don't think that's gonna happen. I told someone I would before, but then one of those items got sold. So all I can say is these, this, these items are already super cheap and I'm not even really making that much money off of these items um, after shipping, so not gonna be doing bundles. But wanted to give a quick shout out to the purchaser yesterday on my Depop, in which they bought the Lorna Shore Baphomet long sleeve. And not only is it a Baphomet long sleeve, but, and this is the only reason it is only, uh, let's see, it's $10 more than the other long sleeves, except for the motionless one, which was also sold. That was tour exclusive, so, you know, thought that was pretty cool to just only make 30 bucks. But to the buyer, Yangel Aguilar from San Marcos, California, I will go ahead and quote the letter that I wrote just now. Thank you for your purchase of this one of a kind item. This long sleeve was my most thorough glow job. Yes, that's right, glow job in which every logo glows, the cross and eyes glow, and so does all the lettering on the back. I just checked, which was, this was 10 minutes ago or so, and the top of the graphic glows as well. The point is, most of this shirt does. As I said on Depop, I would highly recommend some type of spray seal, like maybe fabric seal or paint seal that you can spray onto the shirt. Otherwise, you'll notice the back stick to a lot of surfaces, in which it says services, I meant to say services, yellowing yellowing the glow in which it also says goal so typos otherwise enjoy so yeah i'll be sending that later tonight out to you i hope you enjoy it and uh thank you for your purchase let's go ahead and get back to our regularly scheduled recording and boom just like magic we are back a little bit later for sure but we're going to go ahead and do a devil and i think i'm going to be doing these from now on that way we get both the suggested songs and the songs that I want so like the first song will be suggested next will be just ones that I decide to check out this time it'll be as I lay dying's roots below and shadow intense from ruin we rise let's go as I messed that up all right people let's go as I lay dying's roots below what was meant to be I think there it was mentioned that they're going to be doing a deluxe version of Shape by Fire, but let's go. Six song people, six song to all of the layout, all the lineup, that's what I meant to say, of As I Lay Dying, another kicker, another banger, another beater, maybe not a beater, that sounds like a, that sounds like a slur, <laughs> but no, solid song so far, and t by all means, if any, and I mean any of the members of As I Lay Dying want to participate and discuss the lyrical death of shape by fire or 
were it to be low or something in the near future. Let me know. I would love to host you guys on the podcast, host a bigger band for sure, but also just a solo band in general. And, you know, My Own Grave definitely had me sold. Like, I am on the hype train with As I Lay Dying. Um, Blinded and My Own Grave have been my two tracks so far. Just because they got that power metal vibe to them for sure. But they also have the more, like, heroic, like, yeah, yeah. Um, Just the hype. The hype and the energy behind it. And also the melodic parts. I love how the guitarist that you guys have don't know the names so please forgive me um the secondary guitarist who does the backup vocals he's really really good like i love when he sings and it's like just so heroic and it's the reason i got into this band but let's continue as soon as pause again at some point we only got like a minute left but solid song and i definitely need to give shape by fire another listen because obviously as i said blinded and my own grave absolutely love those tracks maybe it's because i'm not that much into power metal per se or whatever you would call as i lay dying genre radically because there are so many different types of metal now there's so many different types of rock now but Obviously, they're definitely more of one of those energy-based, hype-based roots of metal. And you got the melodics, you got the heavies, which make it metalcore. And then, you know, it kind of just does its own thing. Lots of chugs, lots of chugs, lots of, not even blast beats, but like just a step before that. That's what Azalei Dining is to me. But let's finish it up. Soon. <laughs> Oh. move on over to shadow of intent for movingly wise or rise not wise rise and that was as i lay dying's roots below hope you guys enjoyed i sure as hell did check out the shadow of intent reaction that we're also uploading today as well as the croesus anatomy podcast session which will be uploaded today and also up on spotify enjoy and we will be doing an update video separately.